I'm Cheryl Lozinski. Started the Ranyazik City Farm about uh, seven or eight years ago now. And the market we started five years ago tomorrow on this site at the VNA waterfront. We had the market closed. Luckily, we managed to get it open again only for essentials during level five. We've been operating once a week. It's a shadow of its former self, but we're open. Our aim is the same aim that we always had, and that is to support small farmers who are growing organically throughout the Western Cape and small traders. We have 300 people employed here on a good day. Now we probably have a quarter of that, maybe a fifth of that, and slowly we're building up one day a week, then two days a week, and we hope to claw back. We initially, I can't stand the word pivot, and I actually get kind of a shake when I hear people talking about it, because it seems like everybody has to pivot, and it's really just about survival. It's if you can't do this, then you do that. If you can't do that, then you do this. So we collaborated with you cook packing boxes, vegetable boxes online. There seems to be a surge in online uh, marketing and online vegetables, but I think that's not really going to sustain the market. Right now it's about bringing people into the market. We get about a thousand. We usually had 5,000 and over that. It's very different to the social gathering place of connection that this market was before lockdown. But still we're seeing the human spirit. We're seeing people dancing to the music. We're seeing people smiling behind the masks, nodding to us, appreciating the fact that we open, appreciating the fact that there's a little bit of normality back in their lives. We look back on this time and we will be proud that we came through it, but also in a way content that we've learned so much. And obviously there are casualties and that is a terrible, terrible tragedy. But for those who do make it, there, is, there has got to be some lessons. There has got to be a better way to take care of the planet. There has got to be a better way to take care of ourselves. There has got to be more of an awareness of marginalized people that don't have anything to eat on a daily basis. And I think it is about that consciousness that consciousness, that mindfulness, that we will be more aware of our role and I guess to be satisfied with a lot less than what we've been satisfied with in the past. So let's, let's just be aware that everybody's story is relevant and everybody has got exceptional circumstances right now. And if you can help one person in the day, but start with yourself. Because if you can help yourself, you're going to be in a great position to help other people. And it's not easy because you can't help all of the people all of the time. But you can make a start and that's what we wanted to do. And that's why we fought to open the market. We fought to have farmers markets declared as essential services. And we will continue to agitate government to understand the role of farmers markets in South African society. There isn't enough of that yet, so yeah, we kind of play the role of retailer and activist. We play the role of mentor and supporter. There are many, many roles in a business like this. I think we're social beings. I think people want to connect. They want to be in touch with each other very, very much. And so I still have hope for a place like this into the future.